This is Biology 2, Chapter 30, Part 2 on Mammals. In this portion of the video lecture, we will be talking about the diversity of mammals uh, and kind of discussing the classification of the different classes of mammals. <clears throat> uh, there are three classes uh, of mammals. Um, the monotremes uh, are the by far the oldest of uh, the mammals. They actually still carry one trait uh, from their uh, reptile uh, ancestors, and that would be egg laying. Uh, so the monotremes are the only mammals uh, that lay eggs. Um, the only uh, animals left of the monotremes are the duckbill platypus and the echidna. Marsupial mammals. Uh, these are the pouched mammals. Um, the birth uh, of the offspring occurs very, very, very early in development. Um, so there's a very short period of development in the uterus, and the offspring crawls then from there into the pouch uh, while they nurse and develop and grow. Um, marsupials and monotremes uh, are mostly found in the southern continents of uh, Australia and uh, the island of New Zealand. Um, these branch of mammals became separated once we had some continental shift, and uh, the only uh, American marsupial mammal uh, is the possum. Um, so that was the only one that uh, made it far enough for when the continent split that we could have a, a mammal uh, in, the, uh, in the North Americas. <clears throat> So the offspring crawls into the pouch um, and they continue to develop while being nursed. Uh, so examples, kangaroos, uh, wallabies, uh, which are kind of a shorter version of a kangaroo, uh, koalas, Tasmanian devils, and the like. Uh, placental mammals. Uh, those mammals, this is like a human. Uh, this would develop in the uterus until birth. Uh, and the reason why placental mammals are called this uh, is because of the placenta, which is the organ that provides food and oxygen uh, and removes waste of the fetus. It's kind of the lifeline uh, between the developing offspring and the mother. Uh, there are 12 orders of placental mammals, and you will, for your unit test, need to know one example of each of these classes of mammals. So class insectivora. These are the insect eaters of the shrews, hedgehogs, and voles. Uh, the class Chiroptera, uh, the suffix in Latin terra means wing. So these are our winged mammals of the bats. Uh, the class Primata, these are monkeys, apes, and ourselves. Uh, the class Xenothra, uh, these would be the anteaters, uh, the two and three toed sloths, as well as armadillos. Uh, the class rodentia, these are the rodents, the rats, mice, and the beavers. Uh, their teeth grow considerably uh, quickly throughout their whole lives, uh, so that's why we have that uh, rodentia uh, type of tile there. Uh, and class legomorpha, uh, morph refers to kind of form, uh, and lego refers to long, meaning kind of long form in the ears. So these are the rabbits and the hares. The class carnivora, these are our carnivore uh, animals, lions, wolves, bears, otters, weasels. Uh, class proboscidae, proboscis in Latin means nose, uh, so this is a good way to describe the elephants uh, since they have a, a rather long nose. So this would include both Asian and Indian elephants. And the class sirenia are the manatees and the dugongs. Um, these were called, um, because of uh, the old uh, Greek mythology um, story of the sirens that would sing along the shores and distract ships and make them crash. Um, and, and also, uh, ancient sailors uh, mistook a manatee for a mermaid. Um, so they were kind of these beautiful beings of the sea. Uh, sometimes they're actually called the sea cows because they're herbivores. Um, their closest rel relative, uh, ancestrally speaking, is the elephant. <clears throat> the class Parasodactyla. Dactyl in Latin means <clears throat> uh, fingers. In this case, we're talking hooves. So these are the odd toed uh, mammals, the horses, zebras, and rhinos. And the Ardeodactylans, these are the even toed mammals. 
of the deer, antelope, uh, and a lot of the farm type of cattle, pigs, etc. cetera. Uh, the cetaceans, these are the whales and the dolphins. Uh, so remember, for each one of these 12 orders, you will need to know one example of each animal for the order. So we have on the evolutionary tree of life, uh, the closest relative to mammals are the reptiles. Uh, and there is fossil evidence of animals called therapsids. Uh, they're extinct vertebrates. Um, they have a little bit of mammalian features and some reptilian features. Uh, they're kind of the cross bridge between <clears throat> uh, reptiles and mammals. Uh, so here we have a cladogram, our timeline of traits uh, with ancient uh, and modern mammals. Um, so we move from limbs being beneath the body, much like a reptile, um, to having a higher metabolic rate, to developing those uh, hair, mammary, and skin glands. And then we have our three classes of mammals of the monotremes with the egg layers, the marsupials or the pouched mammals, and then finally the placental mammals. This has been chapter 30, part two on mammals.